Madame Honorine. Bonsoir, Gecko. Madame. Monsieur? Monsieur? Monsieur is composing. <laughs> oh, composing. You will wait. I'm early. On the contrary, you are just in time. Oh, I could hardly wait for this evening. My days are so empty. Yeah, Liebchen, I know just how you feel. I am empty too. Oh, how can you be? You have so many other pupils. Yeah, naturally. But no one who responds like you. Hey. Ah, now, what did we do last? Don't you remember? I am speaking about music. Ah, here? Yeah. There. Now remember? Leggero e rubato. Leggero e rubato. <coughs> Leggero e rubato. <laughs> much is he left you? Huh? Do you think I'd take money from such a brute? I threw it in his face. He gave you money? And you threw it back at him? But he... He bit me on the wrist and... And kicked me. Oh, you have no idea what I've been through. And you left your husband without a settlement? I've come to you just as I am. With no settlement at all? Nothing? Nothing. Except me. Uh, 
Bengali, you... You don't want me? But... But you promised. My voice, it's yours now, to make us both famous. But you told me so often. No other place to go. There's only you left. I worship you, thank God. I'll even die for you. In the morgue. In the morgue? Yes, Maestro. By noon. Yeah. Noon is a long way off. In the meantime, my dear Gecko, I am very hungry. I presume you are too. Get me my coat. Uh, we will go visit him. The people, our English friends, they have not enjoyed the fragrance of our society for a week. We will go there. But my for the last time we were there, Monsieur Taffy and Monsieur Delair, and even the little Billy, he's so kind. Now listen, Jack. You know, the trouble with you is you have not sufficient optimism. Little things discourage you. Remember, in the bright lexicon of youth, there is no such word as fame.
Englanders get dirty very quickly. Englanders have to take a bath every morning. How long is it since you took one? Ah, not since I tripped and fell in the sewer. It is Monsieur Taffy's Sunday suit. Yeah, but it is very becoming on weekday. Ah, huh? Monsieur Taffy. My dear Gecko, I have a pleasant surprise for you. Monsieur Taffy is a very large-hearted man. Yeah, he has been unusually generous. Look. Ha! He rang for Madame Dinard. Breakfast, dinner, supper, and the rest. We will spend foolish. Remember what I told you, Gecko. In the bright lexicon of youth, there is no such word Milk as... Milk below! Milk below. You know, it would be a pity to let such hospitable friends starve. <laughs> Get the milk to check it. But we must <laughs> hurry.
May I come in? Are you Miss Ed Happy? No. The lad then? No. Who are you? Who are you? Me? I'm a model. I was the durian upstairs. He sent me down for Monsieur Taffy and the lad to look at. A model, huh? <laughs> for a moment, I thought you were a gendarme. Oh, I pose him then. Ah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gecko, wait outside. But, Maestro. So we will not miss our friend. <laughs> you need a model? All the artists say I have a very classic figure. Durian, Mallow. My dear young lady, I don't doubt it. As far as I can see. Shall I show you? Well, uh... Oh, I'd be glad to. Perhaps you can use me sometime. Well, uh... That's what I had in mind. Well, where <laughs> shall I change? Oh, in there? Well, that is as good a place as any. Very well, I'll be right out. I can hardly wait. Just in time. But there is a mob coming here that'll make a fool of you. <laughs> just as I am about to enjoy myself artistically, there is that face. Oh, Maestro, come, please. Oh, please, come. Oh, don't come, please. remember sweet Alice on me. Uh, and your new suit's on him. <laughs> <laughs> you can have the scotch for thought I have. I hid your suit like I hid my fuss. <laughs> uh, by the way, where did you hide my fuss? I put it safely away. <laughs> In the pocket of those trousers. <laughs> I was looking for Svengali. Svengali? Yes. He, he was here taking a bath. Oh, I'm sorry. I... Oh, that's all right. But there's been no one taking a bath while I've been here. No. He's a tall creature. Polish or something. Oh, so that's Svengali. Well, I've been looking for that artist myself. Artist? Oh, he's not an artist. That is, not in the sense of a painter. He's a singing teacher and a, and a pianist. <laughs> That's one on me. I'll get even with that fellow. Why? Oh, it's nothing. I'll see him again. He lives here. Oh, no, he doesn't. Nobody lives here but Taffy and the Laird. I just come in the studio to paint. Dale Billy, slaving away his art. Overwork will be his ruin yet. <laughs> Look out, now, Billy. Now, hold down. on. Down. Down. <laughs> These are the gentlemen uh, you came to meet, Miss, um... Chubby O'Farrell. Mr. Farrell, let me present... 
Pappy and the Laird. Now you've met the three musketeers with a brush. Hello. <laughs> Durian sent her down. Oh, you said to him? Oh, yes. Mobbing's my business. Head, hands, feet, everything, especially feet. Isn't that a pretty foot? It is that. It's it very is pretty it indeed. It is, isn't it? Everyone says it's the most beautiful foot in Paris. It's very pretty. There's only one that can match it. Uh -huh. eh, and where's that? Oh, 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 oh. What time is it? Oh, it's about um, quarter past ten. Milk fellow! Yes, Monsieur Durian, I'll be right up. Well, there you are. Work, work, work. So what's the difference? So long as you're happy. Well, goodbye to you all. <laughs> you're coming back. Of course. There's several reasons why I must come back. What are they? Well, first of all, this place looks like a pig pen and needs a feminine touch. Hey, a pig pen? Oh, keep quiet. What's the real one? This place looks like a pig pen and needs a feminine touch. <laughs> <laughs> that girl has a wee bit of scotch in her, I bet. I think she's a wee bit of the devil, and I, I think you're right. <laughs> I think she's lovely. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't know, Billy. You're just fooling when you say that. He doesn't really mean that. No. Yes, I do. She's lovely. Oh, but all fooling aside, she did have a foot like an angel. Aye, she had that. the light's going and you haven't worked on your canvas all day? I know. I don't believe you've touched it for a week. No, and I don't intend to until you give me your you answer. You mean to tell me you'd leave me out there on that cold canvas unfinished forever? Forever and ever until you give me your answer. Well, I suppose I must answer sometime in the interest of art. Truly. Oh, but I saw it. You do love me. You do mean it. Don't you know? Haven't I been telling you for weeks? What's well, mes amis? Is anybody here? Everybody's out. Ah. There seems to be the odor of baking in the air. Good? Delicious. Good as Mother makes. Oh, I can't be as good as all that. Oh, yes, you are. You're wonderful. You're the sweetest thing I've ever known. When we're married, I want to take you to England and to my mother. She'll be proud of you, Trilby. Proud of you as I am. <laughs> Tell me, what's England like? Oh, England, beautiful. Green fields and hedgerows and Hollyhocks, primroses, and fog, and pneumonia, and shopkeepers, and flat feet, and boiled beef and cabbage. <laughs> Trilby in England would be like a butterfly in mutton soup. Really? <laughs> Tarts for supper. Yes, and you won't get any if you don't come and play for them. 
I don't feel like playing the piano. No, 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 I don't feel like playing it now. I, I want to talk to you seriously. Yeah, I want to talk to you about your voice. Oh, that's a good one. Well, you tell me next, I want to... Ah, you don't understand. I look for you everywhere today. I went to Gloria, Mayo, there is no trilby. Where you been, huh? Oh, I had one of my funny headaches and didn't work all day. Headaches? Yes, but don't tell anyone. They'd send me home. Ah, oh, poor Liebchen. Oh, it's nothing. It'll go away like it always does. Possibly. I can take it away for you right now. Oh. <laughs> I mean it. It is so easy. <laughs> Sit down, i show you. Can you really take the pain away? Yeah, now, now you sit there quietly and do just as I tell you, huh? Now, you look, you look at pretty Svengali. <laughs> Looking at you is a funny way to show my headache, Svengali. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> now, don't be afraid. Look me right in the eyes, Liebchen. Right in the eyes. If you can really cure my headache. See nothing, hear nothing, dream of nothing, but Svengali, Svengali, Svengali. 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 That is right, Leech. Now sleep. Sleep. Open your mouth, Legion. Why? I was right. A soundboard like an angel. The roof of her mouth is like the dome of the Pantheon. What's the matter, Trilby? What have you done to her? Trilby! Trilby! Wake her up! Are you asleep, Trilby? No. And open your eyes and say you're all right. Can you open your eyes, Trilby? He's hypnotized her. Bring her out of it at once. At once, do you hear me? Can you hear me, Trilby? Yes. <laughs> then open your eyes. <laughs> Why, what's happened? Are you all right? Why, yes. My headache's gone. How on earth did you do it? I told you, it is so easy. <laughs> Headache is here in my heart. Oh. 
I will keep it as a souvenir. You put the pain in your heart. Come on, come on. Come on. Gentlemen, no violence. No violence. And no dinner. What'd he do? He hypnotized you. Hey, and don't you ever let him do it again. Those fellas can make you do anything and say anything you want. Lie, steal, anything. And then they make you kill yourself when they're done with you. Hey, they do that. But he took my pain away. I'd rather have the pain than have it cured like that. Trilby, don't forget what I told you about the headache. Gentlemen, it uh, might be as well to remember. There are more things in heaven and earth than are dreamt of in your philosophy. Come in, my dear. I'm sorry to trouble you. I shouldn't have come at this hour. Oh, it is no trouble at all. It is never too late to trouble Bengali. I thought I had to come. But I... I think I better go now.
without telling me what is troubling you? Oh, it's nothing. Really? Nothing at all. Except... Except? Did it come back? The headache. Yes. I woke up with it. And you thought I could help you, huh? Yes. That's why I came here. Yeah. Sven Gali told you, whenever you were in pain, to come to him, and he would take it away from you. My dear child, it's the most natural thing in the world. Come in, my dear child, it's cold out here. Don't be frightened. <laughs> Sit down. Here. You comfortable? Mm. Yeah. Oh. oh, poor Clive. Oh, your nerves are jumping like mad. Your skin? Oh, it's hot like fire. Poor Link. Oh, look at me. Come. Look me in the eyes, Link. Oh, don't go, Liebchen. It's been so long since I've seen you. But I... I must, I... Ah? You've been crying. Poor Trinity. You know, perhaps I can cure a pain in the heart. Just as easily as one in the head. Huh? Nobody can cure this pain. But someone... Someone else, not hurt. Oh, I see. Oh, come. Tell old Svengali all about it, huh? Yeah, he'll understand. 
You know, when human beings are unhappy, there's always something to do about it. Come on now, tell me. <laughs> tell me all about it. Well, it, it's Billy. Today, today I posed at Corral School. And he saw me there, before all those men. Oh, you won't understand. And I'm so ashamed. Ah, uh, but I do understand. Yali. Billy is not like the others. Ah, uh, my poor friend. Do your eyes reflect the virtue that he sees in you? Look in your mirror. Do you think you should be on such a high pedestal? After all the other artists you have known? What do you mean? Does he... Uh, uh, does he know about Durian? Durian? What is there to know about him? Only what all the rest of us know, my poor Trilby. Except the innocent little Billy. I won't listen to you any longer. How could I help being kind to a man who had been so kind to me? Oh, kindness is a virtue undeniably, but... Oh, to be so very kind. I am good, I tell you. I'm not like those others. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> Ah, poor Trim. Poor little bee. Surely you are good. You are good like a little bird. Like a lark that must sing in the sunlight. But are you good enough to face little Billy's mother as his wife? After... Durian, the sculptor, Mayo, the painter, <laughs> Lamarcy. Come, come, Billy, lad, there's nothing to worry about. Uh, you no. Know, hmm? A wee drop and Doris soon we'll have Truby back in your arms we in an hour. Uh, what are you standing there for, man? Get the watch key. I'll get the glasses myself. Are these her clothes? We found them on the bank of the scene. Where is she? In the morgue. If they found her body by now. I'm afraid we'll never find her, monsieur. The river is too high to drag.
Isn't it a marvelous change since we saw him last? Uh, it's been just five years. Wonderful. They say that his wife is a very beautiful woman. Didn't you say that she was a Polish woman that he picked up in Russia? Yeah, that's what I heard. Well, if she's as beautiful as they say she is, he must have hypnotized her into marrying him. I'm no interested in that. What I want to know is who's giving him his baths now. <laughs> <laughs> Probably she is, in self-defense. Eh? <laughs> Come, laddie, we must get the tickets now. Get out of here. Yeah. Standing room only. Oh, let me. No way. Get him. That's enough to pay to see Sven Garlin address him. <laughs> Here? Not yet. Not yet? But tonight, it is the view of La Bengali in Paris. Paris is not different than Berlin or Vienna but or Madrid. It is almost time for the concert, and I have a very important message for Monsieur Bengali. You'll pardon me, please. Bengali. I am speechless, madame. Every night you grow more beautiful. Thank you, Signor Bernani. Old Paris is waiting at your feet. But what are you waiting for? Oh, I burst with pride. Well, control yourself a moment. Just a moment. Varta! Oh, why do you burst? Three illustrious gentlemen are waiting in the green room to interview La Bengali. Madame Spangali never gives interviews. How many times must I tell you? But it means another command performance in St. Petersburg. These three gentlemen are messengers from the court of Russia. But no matter. Oh, I am desolated. Here, attached to this beautiful bouquet, is a present from the Tsar himself. You still refuse to allow Madame to see these gentlemen? You refuse positively? Not the necklace, only the interview. But, Monsieur Stengali! Monsieur Stengali! Here is a little trifle I thought would be becoming. A trifle? Why, they're gorgeous. There is nothing too beautiful for La Spengali. You are sweet to me, Spengali. What are you staring at, you old fool? Maestro, I am very sorry to disturb you, but you are late. The theater is already packed. Even the standing room is gone. That is as it should be. Go away. You have never looked more lovely. Never more adorable.
spot away you cannot see him. Has he changed much? I can't even see a grease spot on him. Then he's changed much. My glasses, please. Merci beaucoup. Sorry to trouble you. No trouble at all. But well, I'm sorry, gentlemen. I have strict orders to admit nobody. Oh, but we're old and intimate friends of Monsieur. I'm sorry, no, nobody. Holy scavengers! No need to try and keep this place clean. He oh, no. hasn't been clean for five years. You know that. Kiko! Why, Gekko! Oh, 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 o
Groovy! Groovy, she's not... It is Groovy, isn't it? It can't be. The pain again, Maestro? I'm going get far. All right. All right. But it is, I'm sure of it. But her voice... Clearly couldn't have sounded like that. Why, it's Billy! <laughs> Billy! Kathy in the lid! Oh, it's so good to see you all again. Don't make a scene here, Billy. Haven't I been good to you, Trilby? When you were ill, who, who gave you back your life? You did. I've done everything I could to repay you. Yeah. Except love me. And oh, Liebchen, I do love you so. Oh, please. Please. Bengali. I've tried, but I... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know very well why you can't. It is the magnificent young England, uh, the head of the Purity Brigade, Sir Galahad. Hmm. This stiff-necked little belief. What is he, Liebchen? with his silly paints in one hand and his twiddling brushes of pig's bristles in the other. What does he amount to compared to Spengali? Ah, oh, he paints his silly pictures and sends them to London where they hang up on the wall like dead soldiers on parade and the people pass in a long procession and yawn. Then Gali will go to London himself, where he will be all alone on the platform. And princesses, and countesses, and serene highnesses will fling him their jewels and applaud him. 
and invite him to their palaces. And he will take you with him, Liebchen, and never look at them. Da, oh, we could be so happy. But I... I don't like palaces. No. Nor anything else that other women like. Except a little bit. Look at me in the eyes. Beautiful, my manufactured love. But it is only Svengali talking to himself again. Did you get tickets for the concert tonight? There won't be any concert tonight. Bengali and his company have cancelled the engagement and gone away. And where are you going? After him. Bengali is not running away from you. Not from me, Taffy but from the fear of the day when his spell over Truby will be broken, as it was for a moment last night. Eh? And what will you do when you catch up with him? Just wait till the day comes. I'll get her back if I have to follow them round the world. perdono per questo grande ritardo, ma non è colpa mia. Il cavallo della carrozza del signore della signora Stengali è morto per strada. Sì, sì. Ma adesso sono arrivati, sono là che si cambiano i vestiti e fra poco lo spettacolo comincerà. E grazie mille.
will not speak? Yeah, I am sick. I cannot go on. But what about Love Bengali? Has she ever appeared without me? You mean you refuse to give it a concert again? Yeah, there yeah, are no concerts. Then there will never be another one. If Las Bengali does not sing tonight, her career in Europe is ended. I tell you, I am sick. All right, then I am through. From now on, you can manage yourself into the poorhouse. Every place you have broken your engagements until there is another, another theater that will contract for Las Bengali's appearance. Are you trying to tell me what to do? I would like to tell you where to go, but there isn't any place for you except the dive. And now, that's where you belong. Go tell that rabble. La Sengali cannot appear tonight. But they will kill me, Maestro. I will give you a military funeral. Signore, che il signore e la signora Svengali non possono apparire questa sera. engagement. I will go in and tell them. Uh, all right. But that spell you had tonight, it was the worst you ever had. And I am afraid that maybe... Take Madame Spangali to her dressing room. I'll join you later. Leave Go with Gecko. Wait for me. Come here to fight. Do you expect me to sit down and talk quietly? I think it would be as well for all of us. I think you will agree with me. After I explain. Sit down, sit down. Uh, have a drink. Some champagne will clear the atmosphere. Garçon! The meilleur champagne to vous avez to drink. Now we can talk like old friends. What do you want? The alarm. Nothing from you. What do you want? You, uh, you will not have to follow me after tonight. Uh, probably would not want to. What do you mean? 
What are you driving at? Oh, nothing mysterious. Tonight, is La Svengali's last concert. Do you mean you're taking Trilby back to Paris? My dear young friend, that is for her to decide. To Trilby and her freedom. Surely you will drink to that. Probably alluding to that superb artist, Bengali. I, uh, I have an act now. The queen of the king, the toast of the emperor, assisted by the great maestro Bengali. You can hear with what delirious appreciation they look forward to my music. I, uh, I feel sure you would not wish me to keep them waiting. Excusez-moi. My young friend, remember what I once told you. There are more things in heaven and earth than are dreamt of in your philosophy. Auf Wiedersehen. Are you all right? Why, yes. Except I feel... Yeah, yeah. Strangely. Listen, my dear. Tonight, I want you to watch me very closely. Do not take your eyes off mine, even for an instant. And remember, there is nothing in your mind, nothing in your heart, nothing in your soul, but Svengali. Svengali.
I'm right here with you. Speak to me, darling. Oh, God. Grant me in death. I me in life. The woman I love. Have one piece in your reach. 